we are going to set up a basic spreadsheet here where we're looking at the total bill of our purchases based on the price of each item here. In this column in D is the description. Then we have the price of each, how many we're buying, and our subtotals over here. I've also made a spot for discounts and sales so that I can adjust them, right? So I can change this number and that will change my calculations down here. I'm gonna enter in some cost amounts. I'm gonna say just for fun, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. And then how many of them am I going to buy? When I enter the numbers here, Let's go this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see what's happening is that in these cells right here, it's using the quantity and the list price to get an answer of 700. So you wanna think about what formula can I enter here to do that? To start a formula, you start with the equals sign. So you would click on G2, press equals and think about um, what you're doing mathematically. What are you doing to this cell and this cell right here to get 700? Because you're really just doing the same thing over and over and over again. Now remember, you don't have to enter the formula multiple times. Once you enter into the first cell here, you can just click and drag. So for example, I'll type a formula over here, equals, go over, and say I want to add it to F. That's not what I'm doing right here, but just as an example, hit enter. Now it will add the list price and quantity. That obviously doesn't make sense for this problem. I just want to show you if you drag this down, it will then apply it to all the corresponding pairs of cells here, row by row. So that's the power of what's happening here. Okay. And then we want to get to our subtotal. You want to, in this, this cell 8,400, adds up all the cells up here. And think about easy ways to do that. What you could do is you can Google commands for adding in spreadsheets. You'd be surprised at how straightforward it really is. And there's actually, I should say that there are many ways to do it. Many ways. Discount. Well, the original discount we looked at was 13%. Now, mathematically, think about what you have to do. To find the discount, in other words, with 13%, in this case, you'd be saving $1,092. Well... All right, to, to find that out, we did this in class. You do 0.13 times your subtotal right here, and that's this answer. What I've done is I've changed it so I can change my percent to anything, and then you'll see the calculation down here change. So if I want a 100% discount, the item is free. Well, let's say I have a 20% discount. This calculates it correctly. So think about what formula would go into G10 that could use this cell, which over here in B2, each time to figure it out. Then we go to our sale price. Now our sale price, what is that? It's just the subtotal minus the discount. So the formula again to for that, sales tax, just like discount, I have the ability to raise or lower the sales tax, and that will change my total cost. So all sales tax is doing, think about it mathematically, it's taking your percent, in this case 10%, of this number here, and then putting the result in this cell. So all you have to do is essentially call to this cell as part of your calculation, and then it'll adjust based on whatever you enter here. And then your total cost is just going to be the sum of what? Well, the sale price and the sales tax. And that's it. So this should be set up so that any quantity I put in, any list price I put in, I can handle the, it'll change the numbers over here, it'll change the subtotal, I can then change any discount, let's say between zero and 100, and sales tax between zero and 100, and I just see it adjusted here in this table. And really, if you're stuck or you wanna learn more about formulas, you can Google it to see really quickly what your options are. There are lots of fascinating commands that are very powerful. You should also really mess around with the layout here, uh, I use alternating colors. I also added some extra color up here. And I selected all of these cells and I went around to this, the borders um, icon, click on that. And you can choose all different kinds of things. I just chose this one right here, outer borders. You can change the border color 
and the style as well. It's kind of fun to play around with. So you might want to see how that works. All right. Thanks.